Hello, welcome to my night library. This week on Balls Deep, we learned about sheep ranching in Nevada. The sheep rancher we learned it from, Hank Vogler, is of a sort you don't see in America very often. Basically, the Marlboro Man archetypal Western cowboy. Lambing season is the busiest time of the year at Hank's ranch. He has to have a full crew in order to share the sheep before they give birth. Huh? There it goes. It's gory. Ugh. I'll bet when you come sliding out, you weren't terrible cute either. Hank reminded me of a character in Western novelist Edward Abbey's classic book, Fire on the Mountain, weirdly similarly named John Vogelin. He too was a uh, kind of rugged individualist, hard spun, salt of the earth ranching type who uh, kind of lived by his wits and found himself at odds with the federal government. If there's an endangered species out here, it's me and the rest of the sheep herders. You know, you spend your whole life putting something together. You know, you start out with two cows and seven sheep, and then all of a sudden somebody comes in because they have an agenda, and they start putting you out of business. Yeah. You wind up, it's pretty easy to make a Clive and Bundy. It's pretty easy to make an enemy. Yeah. And, and, and when you have no place to go, you run over, you, 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 ha you feel like you have nothing to lose, so you do crazy things. All right. Thank you. Not spoiler alerting you here, but the uh, book ends with a standoff between Vogelin and the uh, you know forces of government oppression. Not unlike the standoff at the Malher Wildlife Refuge, led by Ammon Bundy and uh, his clan, who were friends of Hank Vogler, who Hank Vogler supports, and explained a little more clearly than the media has kind of the reasons for their uh, actions and why they chose Malher too, which nobody got into. It was Malher. It's actually like the seat of like the anti-ranching movement. It was rangered by a man named Denzel Ferguson, who with his wife Nancy wrote a book called Sacred Cows of the Public Trough in the 80s, exposing all the like shady doings and uh, exploitation and inequities of the ranching industry, which is written with such like just naked, vindictive, just vitriol and is accompanied by such lame cartoons. It's a fun addition to a library, but kind of screw this. Don't give these wet blankets any of your money, nor their publishing house. Just stick with uh, Edward Abbey, who I believe, uh, I know a lot of people say that Cormac McCarthy was kind of the source material for uh, Owen Wilson's character's writing in Royal Tenenbaums, but it's totally Edward Abbey. Here, let me pull you a passage real quick. Flocks of sage sparrows swirled like dark confetti ahead of us, chirping mildly, and off to the left in the shadows of the brush, a covey of gambles quail ran off obliquely from the path of our advance, making their piteous little cries. I am the land, grandfather said. I've been eating this dust for 70 years. Who owns who? They all have to plow me under. My God, I forgot my cigars. Brains full of sand, Lee grumbled cheerfully. Arrogant as a bull, head screwed on backwards. Every man has his faults, Politico. Basically, all that's missing is the friscalating dust sclight. God, what a fucking writer. All right, see y'all later.